Good evening. Salvation is a cosmetic company that aims to help with the skincare of adults as well as overall health. As the three founders, we are all very successful people and have much background experience in the field we are pursuing. The resource we will be using is Atlantic herring, an abundant pelagic fish found in the waters of North Atlantic. Atlantic herring contains the highest amount of omega-3 fatty acids out of all fatty acids, fatty fish. We will be basing our operation in Fogo, which is on Fogo Island, off the coast of Newfoundland. Fogo Island is traditionally a fishing community, but is currently struggling with an aging population. Fogo Island and its people will benefit greatly from the placement of the Sun Nation factory on their island. The attraction of new, well-paid jobs will bring younger people to the region. Outlined in the Fogo Island Change Island Socioeconomic Strategic Plan is the wish to redevelop and sustain the fishing industry to benefit the Fogo community. This would be accomplished through San Lishan. In Canada, jobs will be created where they are needed. Government revenue will be generated through taxpayers' dollars. Also, San Lishan plans to use the whole fish, minimizing waste, contributing to Canada's reputation as a country which values all its resources have to offer. As well, basing our factory in Canada will keep the resource Canadian, as well as the product produced from its resource. This brings money into the Canadian economy instead of the resource being exported, and the money generated from the product going into the economy of another country, such as the United States. We will be taking out the raw material and turning it into cosmetics to enhance beauty. The fish will be caught and then transported to the factory within 48 hours. The fish will then be taken apart and the meat will be separated from the byproducts. The byproducts will then go through the extraction process and a portion of the oils will be put away for inventory. The oils will be then mixed with other ingredients as follows. Each cosmetics will contain omega-3 acids. Our company uses natural omega-3 oils, which help the skin complexion to be more moisturized and will clean out the pores and even protects from wrinkling and skin aging. And also is a prevention towards the skin cancer. Also within the cosmetics, it will contain three different types of vitamins, including riboflavin, also known as B2, vitamin A, and vitamin C. There are about 6.8 million homes in Canada. Through a random survey, San Lishan learned that about 40% of these people are in the market for a product of our standard. We assume that we will get 1% of the market in our first year, but this number is expected to grow with the company. San Lishan's total revenue for the first year, based on our starting line, will be $5,321,120. Based on our projected revenue, broken down as shown, and the cost of operation, we project our gross pre-tax profit to be $1,671,505 after factoring in our overhead costs. We are certain that the media will bring up the fact about the negative impacts on the environment. However, there are more positive impact as follows. As the negative impact, we will face the overfishing factor. And along with the overfishing factor, habitats are destroyed. However, we will be using the per sign method, which saves more than 25% of the habitat, the enthralling method, which drags the net along the seabed, causing damage to the ecosystem. As said before, the herring industry is relatively new and relatively new and the fish are abundant. The herring spawning season comes just before the fishing season, which means the adult herring will already have laid their eggs before we gather them. This means the species will be able to grow and reproduce successfully for many years to come. As well, the skincare industry is rapidly growing market as people are constantly trying to look younger and keep their skin in good health. Industrial issues commonly faced by the fishing industry are as follows. Illegal dumping of oil wastes and destructive fishing practices. Many fit ships are dumping their wastes overboard, which can kill fish, as well as plant and animal on which fish feed. Fish harvested from these polluted wa waters may be unsafe for human consumption. Destructive fishing practices are another industrial issue that all fishing industries face. When trawlers are trying to catch one kind of fish, many other types of fish are caught in their nets. These fish, the unwanted fish, are already dead, so they just throw them away. Atlantic herring is a very migratory fish. They migrate for feeding, spawning, and for warmer, 
water in the winter. Once the water is warm, they come back and meet around Cape Cod. With global warming in effect, the water will be warmer, which will make the Atlantic herring not have to migrate in the winter. As mentioned before, we will be making several cosmetics. People are becoming more and more aware of the effects of different products on their skin, and we hope to see will we hope to see ours gather the basic skin care as well as the prevention of diseases into one. The majority of Canada's resources are exported to other countries in their raw form for production outside of Canada. Sun Nation will use Atlantic herring from Canadian waters and our product will be produced here in Canada. Through these actions, many more jobs are produced. 40 new permanent jobs will be opened up as well as 25 contractor positions while the factory is being built. The resource exploitation and product production are taking place in an area which would greatly benefit from this. The Foco Island community is in need of rejuvenation which San Nation can provide. This is just one example of what can be done in other small fishing communities on the coast. Our cost to get started will come out to about $7 million, broken down as follows. The cost to build the plant will be $3 million. The cost to equip the plant will be $1.5 million. The cost of research and development is $1.45 million. The cost of an industrial fishing boat is approximately $1 million. Salisha's founders will each be putting in a healthy investment amounting to $3.5 million. $2.5 million will come from bank loans from the Royal Bank using our land and completed building as collateral. We are asking for a $1 million grant to complete our required finances to build the Salisha factory, which, which the company can grow. Salisha would benefit from Canadian economy greatly as well as bring jobs in younger generations where they are needed. Our aim is to successfully make hundreds of products to assist Canadians in skincare and general health. This would be an excellent investment and we hope you will strongly consider investing in Sanlisha.